in the crew Milton and Bird, Travis and Spud Playing together like good friends should Busy, such a lot to do. Building and fixing till it's good as new. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Can we build it? Yeah! Can we fix it? Good morning, Bob's Building Yard. Yep, I'll be there as quickly as I can. Okay, bye. Oh, yes, it was a terrible storm. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. Right, I see. Yes, it was a bad storm. Can you just hold the line, please? Tree uprooted across the road. Bob, it's an urgent fax from the mayor. Can you hold on a sec, please? Roads blocked, telegraph poles down, pipes burst. Fence is broken. Need immediate help. Okay, Wendy. I'm on my way. Don't worry. I'll speak to these customers and tell them you'll be with them as soon as you can, Bob. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Hello? Hello? Hey, Bob. What's happening? Oh, that was some storm last night. All that thunder and lightning. Wild. It was. Are you all okay? Oh, well, it was a bit scary, wasn't it, Muck? Nah, I wasn't scared. It was fun. All right, well, there's been some serious storm damage, and we're needed right away. I can shift it. I can mix it. I can dig it. I can roll it. Uh, I can lift it. What a team. Scoop, you come with me to check out the roads. Muck and Lofty, I want you to go up to the farm and make sure everything's all right up there. What about me, Bob? <laughs> Don't worry, Dizzy. I'm sure you're all going to be needed on a day like this. Can we clear it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Yeah, I think so. See you later. Come on, Lofty. Well, um, it doesn't look too bad to me. Uh, um, well, I suppose not. But those ducks don't look very happy. Well, they will be when we've cleared their pond. Don't scare the ducks, Pilchard. Come on, then. Let's get on with it. Sure, Muck. Uh, I just can't. Uh, 
seem to get a grip. Just grab it, Lofty. Oh, I would if I could. Bird's got the right idea. He's going back to the yard for help. Oh, my. Do you think we should go with him? No, you stay here and I'll go back. What? You're leaving me here? On my own? Oh. Somebody's got to keep an eye on Pilcher. What's up, Muck? It's Pilchard. She's got stuck in a tree that's fallen over the pond. Easy. And she can't swim Easy. because she hates water. Hey, calm it down, Muck. Whatever's going on? Oh, Wendy, you got to call Bob on his cell phone. Pilchard's stuck in a tree and she can't swim and, and the pond and oh, everything. Pilchard? Poor thing. I'll call Bob right away. But, oh, no. He didn't take his cell phone. I've got it here. Then one of us will have to go and get him. But we don't know where he went. He could be anywhere. We've got to do something. Really? Look! Think! Wow! That bird can really move. Maybe Bird's gone to find Bob. Come on, let's follow him. Oh, that bird moves really fast. Faster than me. I'll give it a try, though. You stay here. I don't want to lose you as well. Bird, what are you doing here? Something's wrong. Seriously wrong. Jump on, Bob. We've got to go. Hold it, Scoop. What's going on? Can't explain. Just trust me, Bob. Whoa! clever thing to do. Oh, Scoop! Bob! It's been an accident! A tree fell onto the pond. With Pilchard in it. Lofty tried to lift it, but it was too heavy. Oh, Bob, you've got to rescue her. We're on our way. Ready, team? Can we rescue? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Get a good night's sleep, everybody. We've a lot more repair work to do tomorrow. <sighs> what a day it's been. You should go and relax in your easy chair, Bob. I will, Wendy. Good night. Good night, then, Bob. Good night, all. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I don't know. What? Well, what a surprise. Good morning, Bob. We're going to finish that garage job today, aren't we? Yes, we are, Scoop. And the mayor's going to be really pleased with it. Automatic doors and everything. Just the place to keep his official car. Only the roof to put on now, right, Lofty? No. No. Uh, the roof's going to have to wait until tomorrow, Bob. Oh, but I promised we'd finish it today. 
And I... Wendy! Oh, you look beautiful. Very nice. But, um, aren't you going to get it a little dirty at the building site? <laughs> oh, Bob. We've been invited to lunch at City Hall, remember? Oh. Oh, yes. But we got the invitation ages ago. They've probably forgotten we're coming. Bob? And I'll have to wear a suit. And I hate wearing a suit. And the mayor won't be pleased if this garage isn't finished on time. It will be finished on time. Scoop? Yes, Wendy? Do you think you could look after the garage job for us? You mean me? In charge? That's right. <gasps> really? Oh. Really? Wow. I guess. Shh. It's a secret, Scoop. Bob doesn't know. Uh, uh, Bob? I could look after the garage job for you. You mean you? In charge? Yes, I mean, I mean, you're a great teacher and you've taught me everything I know and can I fix it? Yes, I can! Now, go and get your suit on, Bob. Oh, oh. All right, Muck, Lofty, we've got a job to do. All right, Muck, Lofty, we've got a job to do. <laughs> Thank you, Dizzy. Right. Here we are, Muck. Muck, I want you to bring the roof sections and pass them to Lofty. Lofty, you'll hoist them up and... And uh... what are you gonna do, Scoop? Me? Uh, I'm in charge. Oh, yes, of course. You're in charge. That's right, Muck. Steady as you go. Careful now. Easy does it, Lofty. Easy. There. Aren't you gonna help? I am helping. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'll just go and see how they're doing with the garage. Uh, there'll be plenty of time for that after lunch, Bob. But what, what if they... Don't worry, Bob. Yeah, but, but anything could... Uh... Scoop and the team can handle it. Yeah, but, uh... Bob, you'll get your suit dirty. And we'll miss the soup course. Oh, all right. Good. Now let's get your tie tied. Thanks, Wendy. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Lofty. That's right. Yeah. Good job. Okay, Muck. Let's have the last piece of the roof. Oh, 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 oh. I can't hold Careful, it. Careful, Muck. Look out. <laughs> Only joking. I wasn't really going to drop it. Muck. We've got a job to do here. Stop fooling around. Stop fooling around. Oh, now, look, Muck, I really... Uh, uh, no. Oh, uh, Mr. Uh, Bentley. Uh, hello. Well, hello, Scoop. Is uh, Bob around? I've come to inspect the garage. Bob isn't here, Mr. Bentley. I'm in charge today. I'm in charge today. Yes, uh, Bob and Wendy had an important lunch to go to, so they asked me to look after the job. Well, Scoop, I'd, uh, I'd better begin my inspection. All right, uh, let's see now. Walls, one, two, three, four. Check. Roof, one, check. Adequate clearance and breadth of access for Merrill vehicular conveyance, check. Well, Scoop, things seem to be in order. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. Oops, I nearly forgot. Uh, is something the matter, Mr. Bentley? Yes, Scoop. I never tested the automatic doors. Yes, here you are, Mr. Bentley. Uh, the remote control. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, oh dear. Um, uh, uh, maybe something's loose, or maybe... Now, uh, uh... Now, now, don't worry, Scoop. Probably nothing to it. I, I'll take a look, but I, I better take my jacket off first. And my gold watch. Wouldn't want anything to happen to that. It was presented to me specially by the mayor, you know. Can you fix it, Mr. Bent? No, Scoop, stop! <gasps> oh, oh no! What was that noise? Too late, Scoop. Too late. Oh. Well, that wasn't so bad after all. A yummy lunch.
And I got a special presentation watch to thank me for all the hard work I've done for the town this year. <laughs> Wendy, did you know about this? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I wanted it to be a surprise. Well, it certainly was. Let's go show it to the team. Oh, oh, they'll be really proud of you, Bob. Oh, my, my, my goodness. I'm sorry, Mr. Bentley. I didn't realize... It's all right, Scoop. Accidents will happen, you know. Hey, look what I've got. The mayor gave it to me for a... Uh... Um, no. What's happened to your watch, Mr. Bentley? Oh, Bob, it was my fault. I, I was sort of wasn't looking where I was going, and I... and I. Now, now, Scoop. It was an accident, Bob. My fault for putting it on the ground. Oh, no. Um... Look, Mr. Bentley, this watch is a little too delicate for me to be taking on building sites and stuff. So, I'd be very honored if you'd accept it as a replacement for your broken one. Well, <laughs> thank you, Bob. That's very, very kind of you. Much appreciated. All right, better get going. Oh, I, uh, I nearly forgot. The door doesn't work, Bob. So long. Door? What door? The automatic door. Mr. Bentley was trying to fix it. That's when I squashed his watch. Uh, oh, it's all right, Scoop. <laughs> of course it doesn't work. There aren't any batteries in the remote control. Batteries? Of course. Perfect. The mayor's going to be really pleased. Good old Bob. I knew he could fix it. Yeah. yeah. Hooray, Hooray, Bob. Well, really good good. Go. Good old Bob. Oh, what's the matter, Scoop? I let everyone down, Wendy. I got too big for my boots, well, my tires, and I squished Mr. Bentley's watch, and Bob must be really disappointed with me. Of course he isn't, Scoop. It was an accident. If anyone's to blame, it's me. I mean, I shouldn't have Good asked morning, you to... everybody. Hello, Mr. Bentley. Ah, Bob. Uh, hello. Uh, look, I'm uh, sure that watch the mayor gave you meant as much to you as mine did to me. So, uh, I had a word with him about the, uh, accident and how you gave me your watch. You know, he was so pleased with his new garage, he asked me to give you this. Oh, Mr. Bentley. Thank you. Scoop, I think you ought to have this. After all, you were in charge of finishing the garage on time. Wow, that's really nice of you, Bob. But are you sure? I was horrible and bossy and... Oh, Scoop, you weren't that bad. It was really kind of funny. Yeah! <laughs> you keep the watch, Bob. Anyway, I haven't got anywhere to put it. <laughs> good old Scoop! Yeah. Good old Scoop! Good old Scoop. Good old Scoop. You're good, yeah, okay, Scoop. I promise never to be bossy again. We'll have this old house demolished soon, Wendy. Drop the floorboards in here, Scoop. What do you want done with these old roof tiles, Bob? Put them in the dumpster, Molly. Oh. Oh, these are nice old tiles. They're in very good condition. Yes, so are the floorboards. They're beautiful old oak. Thanks, Scoop. We'll drop them off at the recycling center. Somebody else might be able to use them. Oh, I like the recycling center. Come on, Molly. Let's go. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. OK, team, let's get going. Oh. Hello, Bob the Builder. Ah, uh, hello, Bob. Mr. Bentley here. Can you meet me and Mr. Ellis at the museum? It's very important. I'll be right over. Mr. Bentley wants to see me, Wendy. Oh, that's all right, Bob. Lofty and I can finish demolishing the rest of the house. Can you clear it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Oh, oh, yeah, I think so. Ah, good, Bob. Prompt as ever. What can I do for you, Mr. Bentley? Mr. Ellis would like you to fix up his old annex, Bob. It's part of the museum, but I haven't used it for years. I'd like to hold an exhibition for the local artists. Local artists? 
I didn't know we had any. Oh, oh yes. Mrs. Percival's school children have done some beautiful drawings. And there's Molly's work, too. Come to think of it, Wendy painted a nice picture of her garden the other day. And, um, ahem, oddly enough, I'm putting the finishing touches to a 100-scale matchstick model of the Taj Mahal. The problem is, Bob, I need the job done quickly. The roof will need retiling. I'd like the museum and the annex to match up as much as possible, Bob. Uh, could you use old tiles like the ones on the museum roof? That shouldn't be a problem, Mr. Ellis. Can we have a look inside? Ooh, well, these wooden floors all had to be replaced. Do you want me to use old floorboards, like the ones in the museum? Yes, Bob. Well, there's plenty to do. I'd better run over to JJ's and pick up the materials. We'll leave it to you, Bob. Okay. See you later. Hello? Hi, Wendy. Mr. Bentley's asked me to fix up the museum annex, but there's a lot to do. Well, Lofty and I can help. We've just finished here. Great. Could you get over here and start taking up the floorboards while I go to JJ's? No problem, Bob. What do you have there, Mrs. Percival? These are all paintings by the school children, Spud. I'm going to enter them into an exhibition at the museum. Oh, what's an exhibition? It's a show where artists can present their work and the best ones win prizes. Oh, uh, what, what, what kind of prizes, Mrs. Percival? Oh, there'll be all kinds. Books and paints and... What? No big yummy cake? <laughs> well, there might be a cake too, Spud, but you'll have to paint a picture if you want to win a prize. I'm no good at painting. It doesn't have to be a painting, Spud. You could do a drawing or a sculpture or... What's a sculpture? Look, these are all sculptures. That's a cat. And there's a fish. And then you have... A, a giant man! You've just given me a real good idea, Mrs. Percival. I'm sorry, Bob, but we don't have any old tiles or floorboards at the moment. Oh, it's such a shame I didn't keep the ones we took from the house we demolished this morning. Well, why don't you go to the recycling center, Bob? Molly and Skip have just left with the stuff. You might catch them. Good idea, JJ. Hi, Molly. What do you have there? Some materials for recycling, Spud. Wow. Uh, uh, I could use these for my sculpture. <laughs> I didn't know you were an artist, Spud. I'm not, but uh, I've got to make something for Mr. Ellis' exhibition or I won't win a prize. An exhibition? Why don't you make something for it too, Molly? I'd love to, Skip, but I'm too busy. Oh, Molly. Well, I'll try. Um, can I borrow these, Molly? You can have them, Spud. It's a recycling yard. You can take what you want. Oh, uh -oh! yippee! <laughs> Look, Skip, these might come in handy. Ah, that's the floor up, Lofty. Uh, what are we gonna do next, Wendy? We'll make a start on the roof while we're waiting for Bob. So, Travis, prepare to be amazed by Spud the Sculptor! A sculptor, huh? <laughs> this should be interesting. Now, uh, yes, uh, I'll just hold it up. Put that over there. Uh, um, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, no, not the crap. Uh, what is it, Spud? Can't you tell, Travis? Uh, no. I'm making a giant scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's kind of crooked, Spud. He's meant to be crooked. This is art, Travis. Oh, right. Sorry I've been so long, Wendy, but I've been trying to find the stuff we took out of the demolished house this morning. Any luck, Bob? Well, I found the tiles. Oh, good. Ah, oh, Bob, how's it going? We're just about to start tiling the roof. Good progress. But I haven't been able to get any old floorboards. I might have to use new ones. Oh, dear. Mr. Ellis will be disappointed. I'd better go and tell him the bad news right away. Bob, why don't you go over to JJ's and get some new floorboards? Lofty and I will make a start on the roof. Good idea, Wendy. Could you take the rotten floorboards to the dump on your way? Oh, it's still not right. Oh. Spud, what are you doing? I'm making a giant scarecrow for the exhibition, Bob. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That's, uh, wonderful. No, it's not, Bob. His arms and legs are too long, and they keep dropping off. Oh, see? It's 
useless. Nice floorboards you're using, Spud. I found them at the recycling center, Bob. I'll tell you what, Spud. Scoop's got plenty of wood, all different shapes and sizes. We could swap. Whoa! Perfect. <laughs> Thanks to Bob and Wendy's hard work, this will be a splendid annex, Mr. Ellis. Oh, that really is wonderful. You see, my hobby is pressing flowers. No. Oh, oh, yes, yes, very nice, Mrs. Percival. Oh, goodness me. Oh. <laughs> He's the best looking scarecrow in town. After me, of course. Now, everybody. Hold on, Mr. Ellis. Sorry I'm late. Skip said I had to make something, so I made a model of him. Oh, <gasps> my goodness. Oh, that's so oh, that's lovely. Fantastic. Super duper lovely. Thanks, everybody. I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone here for letting us see your fine works of art. Oh, come on, Mr. Ellis. Tell us who the winner is. <laughs> Patience, Spud. The third prize goes to Mrs. Percival's children. Oh, thank you, Mr. Great. Ellis. Oh, the children will love these crayons. The second prize goes to Spud for his giant scarecrow. Oh, oh, well done. One splendid box of oil paints. Oh, paints? I can't eat those. And winner of the exhibition is Molly for her model of Skip. Very well done. Thank you, Mr. Ellis. Well done, Molly. That cake looks yummy. I wish I'd won it. And I wish I'd won those lovely oil paints. Well, do you want to trade? Oh, yes, please, Spud. Thanks, Molly. <laughs> I'm Spud the Sculptor. <laughs> yummy cake. <laughs> Imagine giving away cake for paints. <laughs> All right, you'd better get going, Bob. You've got lots of telegraph poles to put up. Okay, Wendy, I'll call you when I need Muck and Lofty. Don't worry, we'll be here. We're taking inventory. Can we fix it? Yes, you can! Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, team. Are you ready to take inventory? Yeah, I'm ready, Wendy, but I don't know what taking inventory is. Well, Roly, it's when you count up all of your material and equipment and you see how much you've got and then you make a list. Oh, huh. I understand. Now, I want you to count everything in the yard while I take care of things in the office. I'll come back soon to see how you're doing. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, what comes after four? Oh, let's see. Seven pencils, five packets of paper, four rolls of sticky tape. Uh, oh, hello, Pilcher. What have you got there? Oh, <laughs> just Bob's old work clothes. <laughs> Good job, Scoop. Time for a break. I've just got to call Wendy first. Okay, Bob. 37 paper clips. Oh. Hello, Bob's building yard. Hello, Wendy. How's the inventory going? Oh, fine, Bob. Oh, by the way, I found some of your old work clothes under the desk. Oh, yes. I was going to take them to the recycling center, but I forgot. Well, I'm going into town later. I'll take them if you like. Thanks, Wendy. Anyway, I just called to say that I'll be needing muck and lofty pretty soon. Okay, Bob. Bye. Okay, Scoop. Better go. Won't be long. No problem, Bob. See you later. <laughs> what you doing, Scoop? Just having a break before I start work again. Ah, uh, you're always working. 
Don't you ever have any fun? Of course I do. I like a good laugh. Well, how about having some fun now, huh? Uh, what kind of fun? Fun, fun. You know, playing jokes. <laughs> Fooling around. <laughs> well, it is my break. Great, come on. All right, Muck and Lofty, Bob needs you. We'll meet you at the farm, okay? Okay, okay. let's go. Bye, Wendy. Bye. 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 See you later. <laughs> Here he comes. Hello, Travis. Do you like my magic bale of hay? Huh? What's magic about it? I can make it fly, like a magic carpet. No, you can't. You're putting me on. Oh, yeah? Watch this, then. Abra, Cadabra. Lift me up now. <gasps> oh, 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 it is magic. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Come on, Scoop. Let's find someone else to play a trick <laughs> on. <laughs> Uh, three and three are six, and another three is, uh, nineteen. Uh, is that right? Here, Scoop. Lift me up. Sure, Spud. <laughs> Just wait till Muck hears my scary voice in the sky. What a laugh! <laughs> now, you go and hide. Okay, Spud. Scoop, let's have some more fun. Let's find Lofty and scare him, too. Oh, no, Spud. Lofty's really scared of you. Anyway, my break's over now. I've got work to do. Ow! You're no fun. I'll have to go and find it myself. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, Farmer Pickle's farm is, um, this way. At least I think so. Here he comes. Better than I could have hoped for. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Help! I'm stuck. <laughs> That's a good one, Lofty. Come on, you can get up again now. No, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Uh, uh, I can't move. Oh. oh, no. Hold on. I'll go and get help. Scoop! 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 What is it now, Spud? I'm busy. It's Lofty. He's stuck on his side and he can't get up. Hmm? You've got to come and help him. Stop fooling around, Spud. I've got work to do. But, Scoop, Lofty really is in trouble. What's all this about Lofty being in trouble? Lofty's stuck. Honest, Bob. Well, he should have been here by now. Better safe than sorry. Come on, let's go. Oh. Don't worry. We'll have you right side up soon. Oh, oh, I, I hope so. Okay. All together now. There, Lofty. Are you all right? Oh, uh, I think so, yeah. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Scoop. Better thanks Spud. He was the one who came for help. Um, well, uh, it was my fault, really, Bob. I, I scared Lofty, and that's why he got stuck. Oh, I see. Well, what do you say then, Spud? Sorry, Lofty. Oh, that's okay, Spud. Easy, easy, Lofty. Okay. Well, that's it, team. Another job well done. 
Even if Spud's little pranks did hold us up. Yeah, it's not so funny when someone plays a joke on you. Spud never thinks of that. Oh, that's given me an idea, Scoop. Ah, oh, you! We finished! Oh, you've done very well, both of you. Hello, Bob's building yard. Oh, hello, Bob. Yes, your old clothes are still here. Why? Oh, well, Bud's over. Time to scare a few crows. Hey, hold on. Who's this? What's he up to? Didn't Farmer Pickles tell you? He's decided you're too naughty. He's gotten another scarecrow instead. What? I, he, he can't do... He can't do that. What about me? Hey, you can't stand there. I'm the scarecrow around here. <laughs> <gasps> surprise, surprise, bud! <laughs> <laughs> hey, bub, that's not funny. Come on, Spud. I thought you liked a good laugh. Oh, well, I... I, I suppose I do. <laughs> Here, you can borrow my nose if you like. <laughs>